Okay, so let's say you've recently had a really cool idea to create a game-changing app. Maybe it's just something to streamline your work or bring people together. But you're just stuck there wondering, okay, where do I even start or how do I know if it's any good? Well, let me walk you through how to figure out if your ideas got traction and also I'll show you some real practical ways to test it and I'll even share some ideas that you can start from. And hopefully by the end of this video, you will be busting with inspiration to build something of your own. If that sounds good, let's get into it. All right. So how do you actually find an idea that is worth building? Of course, I mean, you don't need to come up with something completely groundbreaking because really often the best ideas are right in front of you and starting with your own life, actually. What's something that bugs you a lot? Maybe it's staying on top of deadlines or finding sustainable products. If it's an issue for you, chances are that others feel the exact same. I mean, take Airbnb, for example. It began when just two friends needed a way to pay their rent. And it was super simple, but it solved a real issue. And also trends can spark some real ideas. So you should really dig into market trends with tools like Google Trends, for example. You can start by typing in something like remote work tools and see how searches have spiked since 2020. Or you can try something like AI productivity to spot what's climbing right now. It's completely free and shows some real demand. Like for example, Zoom's big break during the pandemic. Now, another real gold mine for idea search is Reddit. You can jump into productivity or freelance subreddits or just scroll through threads where people rant about clunky apps or just beg for better schedulers. And you can even search things like task app sucks to find pain points really quick. It's really raw and honest feedback. And similarly to Reddit, Quora is really great for this too. And you can start searching for something like what's the worst part of task apps and just read really honest and real answers from actual users or even ask your own questions. Like for example, what tool do you wish existed? And then get some real answers as well. And also snooping on existing apps can help as well. So as I said, product hunt is a must check. You should browse trending tools like an AI note taker, for example, and see what's on the rise lately. And also think of what you can get inspiration from and add your own twist on it. You can also take a little peek at existing apps and just read reviews and that way you can really see what users love or what they wish was a bit different. For example, Slack absolutely nailed team communication by listening to honest feedback. And if your mind is completely blank, try typing something like best tools for into Google and see what just pops up. If you spot a gap, that is your chance. Also, don't forget to take some notes of whatever comes to your mind and just let your creativity flow. And by the way, if you're completely stuck, definitely check out sites like Mobin, Nicely Done, or SaaSinterface.com. These are absolute gold mines of real app designs. Like Mobin's got tons of mobile and web screenshots, while Nicely Done focuses on web apps. And SaaS Interface is big on SaaS ideas. And they're mostly free to browse, but offer paid plans for some more access. So just scroll through through spot layouts or features you love and just go with it. It's a really fast way to kickstart your own ideas. And now that you've got the gist of what to look for, let's light that creative spark with some web app ideas you can actually build using Hosting Your Horizons. Okay, so to start off, what if you made an AI powered freelancer dashboard? It could track your cash flow, whip up invoices, and use AI to predict paydays or suggest pricing. I mean, Upwork and Fiverr has got millions of freelancers who would absolutely love this idea. And with Horizons, you just drag in a spot for income, drop in expenses, and let AI do its thing. Maybe you could charge for extras like tax tips down the line. I mean, anything could happen, and it sounds pretty good to me. Okay, guys, now let's switch gears a little bit here. Say you're really into health and fitness, so why not just make an AI fitness and diet planner? It just would ask you, how are you feeling? And let's say if you're tired, you could do more stretches, and if you're really pumped, you could get a full workout in. I mean, people absolutely love apps that make fitness feel doable. I mean, just look at how many swear by something like Peloton. Now, this third app idea is gonna be for my foodies out there. I mean, I've been thinking about a 
recipe hub inspired by Supercook. You know Supercook, it's this really cool tool where you just punch in what's in your fridge like chicken and broccoli and it finds recipes from the web to match that. I mean, imagine building on that, a place where people share their own dishes, maybe your grandma's lasagna, and then rate each other's ideas and get AI to whip up meal plans from whatever's on hand. And the fourth idea is a language learning game for niche languages, like for example, Kurdish or Somali. I mean, Duolingo doesn't even offer those languages and there's a whole world of people who speak these languages and they'd love a fun, easy way to learn or teach them. I mean, just imagine building a game that makes learning Kurdish as fun as Duolingo makes learning Spanish. Just start with a quiz template, add some cultural notes, and maybe even some voice recordings. It's a chance to make a real impact and connect with communities that don't have many learning resources. And my last web app idea for today is a smart task and meeting manager for those wishing something could just think for them. It wouldn't just be a to-do list like to-do does, but more like having a personal productivity coach just by your side. AI could just sort your tasks by what's urgent or matches your energy, like for example, tackle emails now and save that report for when you're at your best. It could also send calendars to nail meeting times so that there wouldn't be any more endless back and forths, and maybe it could even analyze your work patterns. I mean, say you log 30 minutes on calls, two hours writing, and it could suggest your most efficient workflow, like you get a lot done in the morning, so try batching your tasks then. Okay, so hopefully you've got inspired by all of this and figured out your grand idea. Let's start with the simplest trick in the book. Just ask people what they think. You can post a quick poll on X, Facebook, or Instagram stories like, hey, would an app like this save you time or interest you? And you'll instantly get some honest answers. You could also try a short survey with Google Forms. Ask stuff like, what's your biggest headache with your workflow? Or would you consider paying for this app? and keep it to five questions max because nobody's got time for a novel here. I mean, come on, we're all busy people. And you can even chat with a few people over coffee or Zoom and really hear out their points and they can even be just your friends. Now next, you could build something really small to just test out your minimum viable product or MVP. And really just don't overthink it here, just focus on the complete core. And with Hosting Your Horizons, you could slap together a really basic version just over the weekend. Say it's a dashboard. Maybe it's one graph showing spending habits. Share it with 10 of your friends or a niche group online and just ask what's useful or what's weird about this. And Buffer actually did this with a two-page website for their scheduling tool. People sign up and boom, they knew they were onto something really good. And once you've got a little something live, let data do the talking for you. Tools like Google Analytics can show you if people are clicking, signing up, or bouncing and focus on one or two things at a time, like how long they stick around and what they actually use and improve that first. And if you wanna test some demand without building much, make a landing page. Just describe your idea, add a sign up for updates button and share it where your crowd hangs out most. Maybe a subreddit, Slack group or discover server. If emails start really rolling in, you're onto something really good, so keep at it and don't sleep on what's already out there either. Either. Check reviews of similar apps, what do users love or hate about them, and Slack saw older chat tools were really clunky and made theirs smoother and they did research just like that. And you can spot gaps to fill too, I mean it's just a matter of really doing your research. So look, I mean validation is not a straight line. Your first try might need a tweak or two tweaks or three tweaks and that's completely normal. The point here is to avoid building in the dark, test it out. Hear people out, adjust it, and just keep rolling with it. You have got this. And Horizons can help you move fast when you're ready to build that MVP. So what's next? I mean, you've got ideas, you've got the know-how, and you've got tools like Horizons at your disposal. So time to take the first step and don't be afraid here. Just click the link in the description below for early access to hosting your Horizons. Use the coupon code HZN10 for that extra 10% off your purchase. And if you want to chat with other creators like yourself, join our Discord community server. The link's also in the description below. And if you are wondering how to actually use Horizons to bring 
bring these ideas to life, we've got a video breaking it all down for you. How it works, step-by-step -step tips to create your app, and so many other tips as well. So make sure to watch it next. And if you enjoyed this video, leave us a like and subscribe to Hosting Your Academy for more videos just like this one in the future. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one.